At 1045, Congresswoman Brenda Lawrence hosted House Speaker Nancy Pelosi for the Woman to Woman Speaker in the House series. At 1230, Stacey Abrams spoke at the Clarence Mitchell Memorial Luncheon. Just few of the many important events going on today. Yeah, so a lot of uh, influential women yes, in town, no, uh, doubt. no doubt, today. So. Uh, the fight for equality taking center stage at the Woman to Woman to event. Politicians from Governor Whitmer to, uh, as we mentioned, Speaker Pelosi, all echoing a lot of similar sentiments like this. We've got a lot of work to do because women still are not truly equals and we are reminded of that every single day. I'm reminded of it as I deal with the leaders in the legislature. I just wanted to say to everyone, uh, when a woman sits at the table, the conversation changes. So I am here today to say to every woman in this room, we have work to do. And as we recognize those who went before us and the rest and honor them, we honor them more by taking their legacy to the next place to open up many more opportunities for women. And in doing so, we make things better for our country because we do believe that when women succeed, America succeeds. And Meanwhile, our Rhonda Walker caught up with Rashida Tlaib, who credits the strong women in her Detroit community for her success. She also spoke about why she believes Detroit makes such a great backdrop for the NAACP convention. In Detroit, I grew up here born and raised. I always say these amazing black mothers raised me too. Not only my immigrant mother from Palestine, but you know, I remember growing up, uh, you know, my mother would whisper something and they'd say, no, speak up. You gotta be heard. This is the birthplace of the labor rights movement, the civil rights movement. So many amazing, incredible movements come here. Uh, it start here and it's so rooted in Detroit. I hope people get so much strength from being here because every corner is a reminder of some sort of movement. 